Good night, class. <laughs>
uh, ASA 5505. This book walks you through it. It also has some firepower stuff in there. It has pretty much everything that this book has, but in a condensed how-to state. So <laughs> I would say read this for the knowledge. Read this to keep with you when you need to configure something. That's why it's command guide. That's why it's portable. Next is the Cisco Next Generation Security Solutions. And as you can see, I tap up all my books. They're ready to go. This book here, the reason why I purchased it is because I wanted to have a better understanding of configuring Firepower, how to set up Firepower, um, how to design a network with Firepower. And this book gives me a lot of information, but at the basic level that I'm at, it's, it's like it skipped the level. <laughs> you know, um, it. I have not read it all the way through, so let me be honest. I was kind of following it chapter by chapter, trying to piece out the information as fast as possible, you know, within the two weeks that I've been through it. And it gave me a lot of information to get Firepower up and running, but there's still levels to it, like des the design portion. Say you're dealing with a 5506, it's like, okay, should this be at my edge? Should this be before my router? What's the best, what's the sick Cisco recommendation when it comes to implementing a firewall? I know you can have it as transparent. I know it can be at your edge. I know it can be between your distribution and your core, but what is the recommendation? And if I do install this, how do you set up each design? So that's what I'm kind of looking for. But this book does help you with firepower. Live every day. Next is the programming and automating Cisco networks. This is a guide to network programmability by Ryan Tischer. But this book here will give you an overview of network programmability. So if you guys are wondering about should you do Python or Java, I think there's only about two pages of Java in here. There's a ton of pages on uh, Python. So Python is definitely the future. This will definitely give you an overview of the Cisco Apex the environment that Cisco is moving to, to have a centralized um, network configuration model. So rather than having to touch every switch in software defined networking, you will have basically one controller for all your routers and switches and you implement your configs from there. So that's that. This is a um, pretty good book too. Next is gonna be Python for Kids. This is by Jason R. Briggs. <laughs> it's a great book to spend time with your kids and help them learn programming because coding is definitely here now and it's just gonna be even bigger in the future. So as parents, we definitely wanna prepare our kids for the future. So that's the reason why I bought this book. And me and my kids started going through it, especially my oldest daughter, but she's busy, she's in all types of sports and activities. So we haven't been able to finish it, but hopefully spring break, summertime, we'll dive back in. It's, it's rare waiting, easy to follow through. I believe she made it halfway through the book and yeah, it's a pretty good book to do with your kids. If you would like to learn Python and also you would like for them to learn Python, this is a fun way of doing it. Java. Okay, let's talk about Java. I started working on my Java certification. I completed phase one of the program. I'm in the next phase to take my test. I have to take it by, I believe, March 18th. I had to put a hold on it because I had to dive into all this CCNA security stuff. So I had to put a pause on Java. It happens, just like you all. Life happens, you just gotta roll with the punches and keep pushing. So I bought this book first. And this book, I think I talked about it before, but this book is a Sybase book. It's an OCA, which is the Java Oracle Certified Associate Certification Programmer One. This book is a Sybase book by, um, Gene Ann Boyarski and Scott Silkoff. Now, this book is packed with information. I believe that it'll definitely help me get my certification. Writing code, it, it, it walked me through it. And like I said before in one of my previous um, videos, I started reading this book and a lot of the information was over my head. So, um, the author, Gene Ann, thank you. She suggested that you buy this Java for Dummy books. I, most of these books I read on Safari books first, and I decide if I want to buy them. 
And if I really like them, you know, I print out a couple pages from Safari and then I buy the book. But uh, all these books, I like them on Safari, so I bought them. But yes, this book here, this Java for Dummy books, I like it. It is written so simple. But it's like, <clears throat> it's so simple that it's like, okay, can we just please get through the book? And I'm, right now I'm on, I got halfway through this book. I'm almost done. So finally, I'm getting to a point to where I can start writing code, like my own programs. Previously, it was just showing you everything about classes, objects, if statements, um, what else, arrays. <laughs> and it was just not overkill, but since I had already started reading this book and I was watching some Skillsoft videos, it was overkill because I had so much information on that level. But I didn't want to miss anything in this book. I, I don't like skipping through pages in books. I like to go all the way through them so that way I know what's in the book. You know what I mean? It's like watching a movie in pieces. I don't like doing that. I want to know everything in the movie so if I talk about it, I know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this book, this job for dummy books is pretty good too. And this book is by Brian Burr. He's a PhD, so that's cool. And this is the seventh edition. I'll have a link to all these books in the description. I'll also have a link to my Amazon page. It's an affiliate page. So if you guys are all interested, please feel free to buy from there. I will get a percentage. If not, that's cool too. It's up to you. But yeah, I hope you all uh, enjoyed my review. If you found it informational, let me know. If you have read these books, I would love to hear your opinions in the comment section below. And if you have any other book suggestions, for other people, please let me know. And if you all are interested in any of the other books that I've read outside of just certifications and IT, let me know and I'll do another a book review on the books that I've read outside of certifications. I love books, I love knowledge, and I love to grow. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.